welcome to my channel my name is Roxy if this is your first time here if you are already a subscriber welcome back thank you so much for coming back to my channel and watching my videos today I'm here with my maid TBR and I'm excited usually I do this video like the middle of the month <laughs> so I'm actually here at the beginning of the month this time and I have some books that I'm really excited about I'm doing something a little different this month but overall I'm just proud of me for being here on the beginning of the month. I'm proud of me. Congrats to me. <laughs> I want to thank me. <laughs> I want to thank me for believing in me. I want to thank me for doing all this hard work. I want to thank me for having no days off. I want to thank me for... for <laughs> okay, you guys. So... Typically, I am a Kindle reader. If you haven't checked out my Kindle video, I will link it down below. But I got a Kindle in November. This is my baby. I use this thing all the time. I am typically an e-reader or I do audiobooks. But I'm actually checking out books from the library is not working out the best for me right now. It's like all of the books become available at one time and then before I can read them all, someone else is waiting for it. So I decided to read books that I already owned. So I have some physical books to read this month. Look at that. <laughs> so these are books that I had on my shelf. So the first book I got is Legendborn. And this is a young adult fantasy book. To be honest, I got this book because it is set on the campus of UNC Chapel Hill. I am from North Carolina, I live in North Carolina, and I just thought that was really cool to have a book set, you know, where I live. So this book is about a girl named Brie who's 16 years old. She lost her mother in a car accident, so now she is going to this program for like really smart kids, I guess, and while she's at UNC, she finds out there's like some magical stuff going on. And that's pretty much all I know. So that's pretty much what it says um, in the jacket here. So I'm excited, however, I love a little black girl magic. And this cover is just so pretty. Reason number two why I picked up the book, but I'm, I've heard nothing but good things about it. So I'm excited. This is Legend Born by Tracy Dion. This next book, I I really, I picked it up because it had the word midwife in the title. And this is The German Midwife by Mandy Robotham. And you guys, I'm a birth doula and one of my goals eventually is to also become a midwife. And literally that's the reason I picked up the book. But it appears to be about a woman named Ankh and this book is set in Germany 1944. She is a prisoner I believe at one of the concentration camps. She spends her time helping the pregnant women and their newborn babies and so she kind of gets coined as a midwife from my understanding and then one of the first one of the Nazi leaders or German leaders um, has gotten someone pregnant so now they want her to help with this pregnancy and so she's just torn because I mean she she don't vibe with those people you feel me so I don't know it doesn't say all of that on the back but that's what I gather so I, I think that's pretty much how it goes this next book I am so excited about I am excited about this book you guys the next book I have is Concrete Rose by Angie Thomas and I'm so excited to read this book. I loved The Hate You Give. Like literally, this is my only signed edition, signed first edition book ever. Like I was pressed to get this book. So this book is kind of like a prequel to The Hate You Give. Um, if you haven't heard of it, it's a prequel kind of to The Hate You Give. So it's based on Star Carter's dad maverick and we're just learning about his childhood his teen years um gang life 
drug life, just his early life up until when he becomes a parent. So I am excited to dive a little deeper into this story. Again, I love The Hate You Give. I love the book. I watched the movie. I really love the way Angie Thomas writes. I, I have nothing negative to say about The Hate You Give. So I'm excited to read another one of her books because I'm sure it's gonna be amazing. And that is it. I just have three books for this month. I've decided to slow my reading down a little bit because life and time. So I'm not reading like eight books anymore, but I feel like I'm still pretty good with my reading goal for this year, which is 25 books. If you do not know, I read like four books last year and I read like three of those books after I got my Kindle in November. So it's been a good reading year. Thank you so much for just sticking it out with me with these book reviews and these book videos because it's really something that I want to get back into. It's something that I haven't done in so long. Like I went to college. So I read so much in elementary, middle and high school. Like I would read all the time. And then I went to college and you know, you have to read a lot in college. So I didn't have time to read for pleasure. So I'm finally able to get back into it. And the videos are motivating me a lot. I love talking to you about books and what you think about the books that I'm reading. I like learning about the books that you're reading. So thank you guys for watching my videos, for liking my videos, subscribing to my channels, for your comments and your likes and all of that. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye.